If the military campaign in Ukraine is successful, Russian President Vladimir Putin will choose Georgia as his next target, former U.S. Secretary of Defense and former CIA Director Leon Panetta spoke about it in an interview with The Voice of America. Therefore, it is absolutely important that the United States try to work with Georgia to ensure its security, he said. I think it is clear that if we do not stop Putin in Ukraine, he will continue his aggression not only against Georgia, but also against other NATO member countries that border Russia. So, it is absolutely important that the United States tries to work with Georgia to ensure its security. Georgia is an important country for many reasons. But the most important thing about Georgia is the ability of the Georgian people to enjoy the benefits of freedom, Panetta said. Leon Panetta added that, in addition to Georgia, Putin could start an aggression against NATO countries bordering Russia. He stressed that Putin's main goal is to undermine democracy in the United States, as well as to undermine democracy in other countries, sure, to protect our national security, we have to make sure that Putin fails to accomplish his purposes, Panetta said. UK helps Ukraine carry out attacks against the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The Kyiv's regime's attacks against the Russian Black Sea Fleet were directed by UK Special Services, Russian Foreign Ministry, spokeswoman Maria Zakharova told RTVI. It has been detected that the British, along with the US, acted as spotters, supplying the Kyiv regime with coordinates of targets. As for the terrorist attacks against the Black Sea Fleet, they were literally conducted under the direction of British Special Services, she said. Zakharova made the remarks commenting on reports that UK's Chief of the Defence Staff, Admiral Tony Radikin, played a significant role in developing Ukraine's military strategy in the Black Sea. The diplomat also said the Russian Foreign Ministry has repeatedly pointed to evidence of traces of British special services in anti-Russian activity and in the fighting in Ukraine as well as in the implementation of terrorist attacks. In general, the question that should be asked is not about Britain's involvement in separate episodes of the conflict in Ukraine, but about the unleashing and participation of London in the anti-Russian hybrid war, Zakharova said. Earlier, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the UK is helping Ukraine and is effectively directly involved in the conflict. Overall, it is no secret to anyone that the British are indeed providing various types of support to Ukraine, both with people on the ground and intelligence and so on and so forth. That is, they are practically directly involved in this conflict. The Kremlin official said, commenting on an article in The Times, that the UK Defence Secretary allegedly was clandestinely helping Ukraine develop combat plans. Russia captures US Bradley IFV in Ukraine and analyzes its combat capabilities. In February 2024, images of a captured intact US Bradley M2A2 infantry fighting vehicle with its vital equipment removed circulated on Russian social networks. This reflects the Russian authorities' intention to study technologies developed by NATO militaries. This was not the first time, as in July 2023, photos of a captured Swedish CV-9040 IFV, whose equipment had also been analysed, surfaced. Army Recognition Media Outlet reported this. The capture of the US Bradley M2A2 by the Russian army could have several implications and uses. Firstly, studying a vehicle designed for NATO troops like the Bradley M2A2 and the Swedish CV-9040 could provide the Russian military with valuable intelligence on Western military's latest technologies, engineering and design principles. This information could be used to identify strengths and weaknesses in the vehicle's design, tactics and operational capabilities. Analyzing these captured vehicles could help Russian engineers identify vulnerabilities or weaknesses in the vehicle's armor, sensors and electronic systems. This knowledge would allow them to develop effective countermeasures to improve the survival of their armored vehicles and strengthen their defense against similar platforms used by potential adversaries. It is also very likely that the Russians will develop new weapons capable of destroying Western vehicles. Furthermore, the Russian military might be interested in integrating some of the advanced features or design concepts found in the Bradley M2A2 IFV and CV-9040 IFV into their armoured vehicle programs. By capturing and examining the vehicle, 
They could learn about innovations in areas such as crew protection, mobility, firepower and situational awareness, potentially influencing the development of their future armoured vehicles. Finland allows Ukraine to attack targets in Russia with Finnish weapons. Ukraine can use the weapons transferred by Finland to attack targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. The Finnish side has not imposed any restrictions on the arms assistance provided to Kyiv. The corresponding statement was made by the head of the Finnish Defense Ministry, Antti Hakanen Yeli, informs. According to the minister, the restrictions on the use of their weapons were mainly imposed by those countries that supplied Kyiv with long-range weapons. The Finnish Parliament's Defense Committee said that the Ukrainian army had the right to attack military facilities on Russian territory with the help of weapons supplied by Helsinki. In particular, this was said by the head of the committee, Juka Kopra. Deputy head of the committee, Mikko Savola, also noted that the weapons supplied by Finland can be used by the Ukrainian army for strikes against targets in the Russian Federation. At the same time, he adds that the range of the weapons supplied by Finland is not very long. In general, the Finnish authorities are in constant contact with their allies on the issue of restrictions on weapons transferred to Ukraine. Finnish President Soli Ninisto, who is leaving office, has promised that his country will continue to increase military aid to Kyiv. Ninisto said Finland has provided Ukraine with 22 aid packages and will not limit itself to this. We are increasing aid, primarily, of course, military aid. This especially concerns ammunition and air defense assets. Everyone agreed that we need to act as we did at the beginning of 2022 when decisions were made in a timely manner and very quickly, Ninisto stated. 